Are you thinking of coming to visit Korea? Korea has four seasons and some unique weather too. And there's some holidays that everything is closed. So we'll let you know how it's like every month. And you can decide when to come. Well, January is the coldest month of the year. Oh, it's cold and windy. But the snow is really pretty. So if you're coming in January, the skiing is really good. And bring some warm clothes. February is really similar to January. And usually in February and sometimes in January, we have Salat, Lunar New Year's Day. So a lot of stores might be closed if you come. It's different every year, so check your calendar. And now it's March. There's more sunlight and it's much more warmer. Even though it's a little chilly, I like it. And in April, spring is one of the most beautiful times in Korea. The daytime is much more warmer and nighttime is not that cold. And it's about the time when they have cherry blossoms. A lot of people say spring is one of the best times to visit Korea. But you might want to know this really unique weather we have. So sometimes in spring, it rains yellow dust. In Korea, we call this Pangsa, yellow dust season. So this is dust and sand coming from Mongolia and China. And then it comes down to Korea. And when it does, the air is very dusty and yellow. But don't worry too much, it's not every day. And most days in spring, it's really clear. And my best month is May, because my birthday is in May. <laughs> and daytime is warm and nighttime is cool. So this is a good month to take a walk or go to a picnic. It's one of my best months. Next is June. June is starting off summer, but it's not that hot. In June, I want to be outside too, but maybe not in the end of June. That's when monsoon season starts. There's a lot of rain in monsoon seasons. It doesn't rain every day, but it rains often and usually lasts about one month. So if you're coming then, remember to bring an umbrella. And July is a still monsoon season and it's the middle of the summer. So it's hot and rainy. And it's the most humid too. And next is August. August is the hottest time in Korea. In August, I like to stay inside with the air conditioning. September is when the autumn starts. A lot of people say autumn is the best season to visit Korea. I think so too. The daytime is warm and the nighttime is cool. So it's really comfortable weather day and night. And October is a really pretty month in Korea. And you can come and watch the foliage. Personally, I recommend you to see the foliage. It's generally a beautiful time in Korea. But before you come, you might want to check the day for Chuseok. And Chuseok is the other big holiday in Korea. It's the Korean version of Thanksgiving Day. A lot of places are closed during this holiday. So remember to check the calendar before your trip. And in November, it starts getting cold again. If you like the weather a little cold, it's a good month to come. It's no problem staying outside, but you should probably have a jacket. And in December, it's when the winter starts. It's not the coldest month, but you should definitely bring a winter jacket. And it's Christmas time, so it's fun! Well, that's it! And what do you think? When do you want to come to Korea? Write a comment and let us know! And stop by at solistic.com. This was Song Amin. Annyeong! Bye-bye! Sometimes I get really, really tempted to just stick it in the rice. Oh, you shouldn't do that. Oh yeah, it's totally, totally bad. Uh. And just like any company in the world, you have to respect the boss. And one way to do that in Korea is to stand up when the boss comes or leaves. If you are going to drink, here's a couple of rules. Number one, you should pour and receive with two hands. 
There are a lot of rules according to age, but if you're a foreigner in Korea, we suggest use two hands all the time.